Please make sure you put your tires on in the right direction. I, I put these tires on backwards, guys. <laughs> Dad, the cart feels funny. I know. My bad. The wheel's on backwards. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Go-Kart Academy and 893 Motorsports. Today guys, we're gonna show you how to replace a sprocket. Really cool. So we got a really cool looking one here. This one is a 74. Is it four? Yeah, 74, and we have a 75 on there. And my son had talked to us after the last practice, the last sessions, about wanting to lower his sprocket, go one tooth down so he can have higher top end and lower uh, lower torque. Now, in these types of carts, it doesn't really matter all that much. He's mostly just complaining because he didn't get past a one, a one minute uh, lap time. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, but we're gonna show you what you need to know when it comes to replacing a sprocket. So what are we gonna be doing here? So we're gonna take off the rear wheel. We're gonna take off the side pod so we can get better visib visibility to it. Uh, we'll take off the existing sprocket by loosening up the engine mount and allowing the chain to be able to be modulated to an extent or moved over to the side. And then uh, we'll put it all back together. So it's a, it's a simple tutorial, but it's one of those things that you're going to be doing a lot if you're getting into karting. You're going to be replacing sprockets a lot of the time. So let's get to it. Yeah, let's do it. So guys, we're going to go over the tools we need for this job. I've had to spread them out here. So we're gonna use a laser aligner for one part. We'll use a ruler as well. We'll also go with a 10 millimeter box end, a ratchet, 10 millimeter deep well, a five millimeter Allen and an eight millimeter Allen, and then always the optional impact gun or impact drill to get stuff off. So uh, let's get going. So we're gonna begin to take this cart apart so that we can change the sprocket. Let's do it. Always guys, remember to put your lug nuts back on the wheel hub so you have them when you go to put it back together. It's also a good time to look at them and inspect them when you can see if there's anything going on with those studs, which this one might need a little bit of uh, cleaning and love. All right, so we just took off the side pod. That was easy. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and loosen the motor mount so we can slide the engine back here, guys. Next, guys, we're gonna go ahead and use our eight millimeter T-handle wrench, Allen wrench, and we're gonna loosen up our mount here so we can slide the engine back. This is an Odenthal mount, so it actually slides on top of a base. Um, really handy, we found that using them is quite easy with the boys and having to do as many a chain adjustments as we do, especially when changing sprockets on the fly. So we have our new sprocket. We're basically gonna lift up the chain. I like to set it to the inside and let it rest on the axle. That's what, that way it's out of the way it's easy to access these bolts. Next, we're gonna grab our five millimeter and our 10 millimeter box end. And we're just gonna twist until we get it going. Again, if you twist both sides, it comes off faster. You can spin with one hand. Make sure we don't lose the bolts or the washers. So just kind of put them back together, set it in the side in the seat. We're gonna spin this one around as well. And you guys might be asking yourselves, why is there only three bolts on this sprocket? Well, we found that you can actually run just three. Um, I feel that, you know, if you really wanna be make sure it's secured, you can run all six. Um, but for changing out sprockets, and as much maintenance as we do, three is good enough and it actually holds it on just fine. 
We're gonna go ahead and slide on our new sprocket. I like to put the number to the outside. So find the number, let's put it on the outside, slide it back over. You guys can see the numbers right here. That way, if we're at the track and the boys wanna change something, we can just look at what number it is, go back to the toolbox, find the correct, correct sprocket size and go from there. We're gonna go ahead and just place one washer on the bolt and then one on the other side with the nut. Snug it up, rotate around, skipping one hole, going to the next. That way, even pressure all the way around and we only need to use the three nuts or three nuts and bolt combinations. Please make sure you put your tires on in the right direction. I, I put these tires on backwards, guys. <laughs> Dad, the cart feels funny. I know. My bad. The wheel's on backwards. <laughs> also, fun fact, we figured out that tires have directionalness to them. So, so this one is actually supposed to go on this side because I put it on the wrong side. So your tire will have, your tire will have little arrows, little arrows right here. I know you guys can't see them, but your tires will have little arrows to tell you which direction they should go. It's a simple, it's a simple thing, but it's worth checking. In case in point, I put the tire on backwards this time. So guys, we've gone ahead and reinstalled our new sprocket or installed a new sprocket, not reinstalled. Uh, we put the chain on and we're here to tension the chain. You don't want this thing super tight. You want it to be able to move. So you want about a quarter of an inch of play. And that's about a half, but I like to start with a half. And as I'm tightening up the mount, it will tighten up the chain as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Grab our eight millimeter Allen wrench. And we'll just tighten it down. I like to place my hand on the back of the mount. Just kind of hold it in place as we tighten evenly from front to back. I don't know if you guys can see in the video here, but as we tighten this, you'll see, I'll try and do it slow. You'll see the chain will move. Did you guys see that? Oh yeah. So that's what you guys want to look at when you're tightening. I know that when we set it, it was a lot more of a movement, but as this tightens, you can see how it changes the way everything goes. And this is kind of something that you'll have to get used to doing. That's about perfect right there. Just about that much play. So uh, anyway, we'll slam the wheel back on side pods and we'll be good to go. Hey guys, so we're gonna show you how to check the alignment on your sprocket to the drive gear on the engine. So there's two ways of doing it. We have a sniper laser alignment tool that we can use, but you can also use just a regular metal ruler or a flat edge, a straight edge that you have laying around the house. Just make sure it's long enough to get to where you're going. So we're gonna show you how to do that here. We'll start with the metal ruler or the straight edge, you're going to need a five millimeter, five millimeter T handle to take off the cover. All right. So what I like to do is we take, take the metal ruler, we set it on the front drive gear and you can probably see it better from the back, but we just want to make sure that it's making good contact across the top and in line. Can you guys see that? Mm. So this looks pretty straight. We'll, we'll take it and we'll spin it around a couple, a little bit, maybe a half a rotation. And just check it again. 
So that seems to be a little bit off, which means that we'll move it out a little bit and see if we can figure out why when we rotated, it was a little bit different. Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you how to work these lasers. This one's a sniper. We're just, it just, you slide this bit here forward and you'll see the laser showing up, right? So push it back, no laser, push it forward and you have a laser. So basically we're just gonna line this up on the sprocket. Here we go. Yeah, probably make kind of a little bit better there. You want to find a secure place on the sprocket that gives you full body there. Some of these sprockets with holes in them don't have a good place to mount. So as you guys can see, this needs to move over a little bit. Like we did with our ruler, we'll spin it and see. Yep, we're showing that this it's out of alignment. So we're going to move the sprocket that way. Rotate one more time. And that one's showing there that it's on the mark. So again, we want to try and find the middle ground the best. Um, there could be a possibility this carrier might be bent or just out of alignment just a little bit. So we'll work on that. So guys, we've already aligned everything and adjusted things. Want to let you guys know, so on this IPK or on this Praga cart, it takes two five millimeter bolts here and here to rotate it out and we can slide this across the axle to align correctly. Again, this will save you money if you align your chain and your sprocket correctly. The sprockets are about 16 bucks a piece depending on where you're buying them and chains are anywhere from 30 to $80 a piece. They wear out fast enough as it is so if you can save them, it will save you time and money changing this stuff out once you get to the track. Um, again, we'll button it all up, make sure it's all greased, lubed up and ready to go for the next track day. So we've aligned the new sprocket. We've used the laser pointer to make sure that it's exactly in the middle. And Jonathan showed you just previously in the previous clip uh, how to adjust the sprocket. Uh, so that you can make sure that it's aligned. So we're gonna put it right back together, guys, but that's pretty much it. When it comes to replacing a sprocket, not too hard. You wanna remove the side pod, you wanna loosen up the engine mount so you can move it. You wanna take off the chain, move it to the inside uh, as, as you pull off the sprocket. Take off the old sprocket, replace the new sprocket. Remember, there's six holes. You could use all six if you'd like. For us, we find that three is perfect uh, and it works just fine. And so we're gonna put this back together and that's basically it guys. That's the tutorial of how to replace a sprocket on a Praga cart, uh, Praga cadet cart here. But it's pretty much the same with any other type of cart out there. Let us know if you have any questions or comments in the space below. Yeah guys, smash the like button. Thanks again for joining us on Go Kart Academy and 893 Motorsports. Again, smash the like button, subscribe, and join gokart.academy for discounts and swag opportunities in the future. Oh, yeah, yeah I gotta love that swag, swag guys. Man, I keep forgetting about that. Thing. I know, we're giving away stuff, guys. So sign up to gokart.academy. We'll see you guys next time. All right, guys.